guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to update some notes for a project management card in Trello. And if you guys have been watching my YouTube channel, you know I've done a few other videos that show you how you can use Trello for project management for land surveying or civil engineering projects. So this is just another video along that same uh, topic or along that same line. So you can see I've got Trello open here on the screen. This is the desktop app, but it should look just like the browser version. And I've got my guide to surveying board shown here. So I'm going to open my project management board for Guida. That's where I work as a land surveyor. And you can see I've got a couple project cards here. Got a couple projects waiting to start. And I've got the different phases in my typical pipeline. Okay, so what I want to show you in this video is how to update existing notes on a project. So I've got this project that we're doing right now. It's for an access easement, ac excuse me, access easement on a little road called Road G. It's a private road. And so here's the card. You can see I've got a description there. The scope of services is attached and I've been checking stuff off. We're almost done here. Just about everything's done. I got to go in and prepare, make sure the deliverable, deliverables are complete, and do my final check and project closeout. But what I wanted to show you guys today is how to update comments. So you can see I've been trying to do a fairly good job of adding comments to the card. So I've got a few here. I, I should have done a better job, but there are a few. And so I'm going to, I got a couple comments that I want to update today. And uh, the comments show up under this activity area of the card which is at the very bottom of the card and you can see there's a there's a lot of activities added here when I'm just moving stuff around or checking boxes and so most of the time I don't want to see that I just want to see the, the, the manually entered comments so you can just say hide details and that's going to automatically filter that out so now you can see just the comments I've entered okay about the different things that we've done and so I'm going to add some new comments. And even though Trello records the date, I always like to put the date at the beginning. So today is the 24th. And the first comment I want to enter here is I'm going to say, Landon Blake, uh, talk to Duncan Marshall at the East Bay Regional Park District about any district surveys of the park property on the north side of our subject parcels. Okay. And I'm going to say, Mr. Marshall, I'm just going to say, Duncan Marshall indicated on the phone call that the park district didn't have any land survey records for that area. Okay, so just want to make a note that we called and talked to those guys. We tried to get some records and they didn't have any. We actually sent them a certified letter. That was that phone call was just a follow up. All right, then I'm going to add another comment here, which is going to say uh, Landon Blake. Actually, I'm going to say Karina Alcantara completed. Revisions to the access road easement land description to include the existing, the two existing turnouts. So we had to make some tweaks there to our land description to include a couple turnouts that we asked the attorneys about. Uh, and I'm going to say she also completed a plat for the land description. I'm going to say, I'm going to just give a couple spaces here and say, Landon Blake supervised a review of the land description document courses by Vanessa Blake. Vanessa Blake made sure the bearings and distances in the land description match to those shown on the plat. 
And then I'm going to say Landon Blake added the set property corner monuments to the plat and also added references set property corner monuments in the land description and then we got one more we're gonna say Landon Blake emailed PDF versions of the revised land description and plat to Dominic Seniorati at BPBS LLP that's the law firm that's the client okay and then we'll say save all right so now you can see those new comments are entered and this is a great way for somebody to come in on any project and get a chronological review of the things that have happened on that job which is great great way to get up to speed and you can also use these notes as the basis for your uh, land surveyors report um, so pretty handy and I could do a better job I need to do a better job of entering comments when important things happen but uh, everybody's a work in progress myself included so that was a fairly short video but I wanted to show you guys how that worked and you can you can hear my phone going in the background there which means I probably need to go all right guys took a little break there but I wanted to show you just real quick before we end the video I just was going to come in and show you the comments on another card just so you can get an idea what this looks like so it's a project that's almost complete here and you can see we've added some comments here we've, I've hidden the details like I showed you before so this will give you an idea we've actually got a couple people here um, adding comments so you can see right here in May I'm just letting everybody know the field work got completed I was on the site uh, Matt gave us the field notes and the data and then uh, Vanessa got in here and added a comment uh, that the Irvine uh, office was going to handle registration and scanning. Then up here, I'm just letting everybody know, giving them some notes on how I handled the control. And uh, you can see we've got a good history here. Then uh, Vanessa's here. She just entered a, an email uh, where I'm letting the client know when the project is, uh, the mapping on the project is going to be delivered. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys another example before I ended the video how those comments can get used in Trello cards. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the video, and we'll do some more videos on Trello, I'm sure. And uh, just keep it on that YouTube channel and look for those. All right, guys, thanks.